There's nothing to worry about. Just as long. I'm my number one fan. What's going on, all my kayak buddies out there? So I've got a, uh, a Fusion kayak, and as you can see, my poor, uh, whatever, bungee strap thing broke. Guess what? I could find the same exact color and size on Amazon. Um, it's by a company named Paracord Planet, American made, kind of cool. Link's down in the description if you need some bungee for your front of your Fusion or other kayaks that have bungee. You can get it in any color you can dream of, including mint green. But for this video, the big one is the upgrade. We're gonna put a paddle holder. Because on this Fusion, um, you're supposed to use the bungee, I think. That's what I use it for, for jamming your paddle in to hold it when it's not in use. But we're gonna switch it to a paddle holder and I'm gonna show you how to do that. It's almost like cargo in the lid. Right, get something big on the lid. Alright, uh, this is by, from a company called Escape the Indoors. Cool name. Comes with some well nuts. I just bought standard shoot um, paddles. These were from Dick's Sporting Goods. Let's see. This is just a standard paddle, to my knowledge. And oh yeah, it does clip on there pretty good. Time I'm kayaking. Now, I could clip it way up here, like up here somewhere. But that's kind of in the way, it's hard to reach. I was kind of thinking on the right here somewhere. Or maybe looks like it fits pretty good right here on the body. I'm right handed, do I get out of the kayak on the right? I do. So I'm thinking put it on my less dominant hand over here. Yeah, that's a perfect spot I think. Yeah, I like that a lot. All right, well let's uh, mark our spot. Now I'm gonna have to Bum, 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 drill some holes in a boat. All right, pro tip. So when you're drilling holes in the boat, um, you're drilling holes for these grommets, right? And um, not to worry because these grommets are threaded on one side and not on the other side. So what happens as you tighten it, this starts to bunch up and will seal, um, you know, the hole basically so it won't leak so you don't need to use any kind of sealer or anything and the other pro tip this is a 3 8 drill that we're using so let's mark our spots first and then drill some holes oh god quick and then you don't feel it. Yeah, that 3 8 fits perfect. Um, so now all we need to do is mount from that to that. Oh, that is too cool. Uh, shaving left by the drill. Alright, so there's the two new holes. You just pop these little grommets in. Like so. Easy enough, they just fit right in. Uh, we can try to erase our Sharpie marker. I mean, we just screw this in. 
Try and get them both lined up pretty good. I want to show you too what the, the screw actually does here. So let's see if I can get a video of that. Right. So uh, there's the inside of the kayak. And I'll demonstrate. As I screw this down, what that's doing is that's getting a really tight, it's compressing down quite a bit. And uh, this will definitely not leak. I mean, that, that's nice. The only thing that I worry about you want to be a little bit conscious of this. It does. It did bring my line out a little bit. So uh, when I load it, I just need to be conscientious of, conscientious of that. So there we go. Y'all paddling. All right. Want to take a break or grab a beer or something? Pop that right in there, just like that. Hands free, boom, boom, boom. I mean, that that is a really cool design. It'll kind of pretty much take any rotation too. My, my paddle doesn't really have to be in any orientation. That's kind of why, I, well, that and where it was level on my particular application. But when you're dry fit and you want to dry fit, make sure that it's cool. But um, that is so much easier now to have a sweet kayak uh, paddle holder. Stay tuned for more cool kayak upgrades and all kinds of stuff. If you like this video, check out my other videos. I got all kinds of stuff I'm into. Till next time, guys.